Tyson Fury trashes Alexander Usyk, calling him, calling him some cruiserweight bum after the WBO replaces Tyson Fury as the number one um, WBO, number one in the rankings for the WBO, replacing him with Alexander Usyk. Uh, the president of the WBO, Paco, how do you pronounce it? Val, Val Cassel, I'll just pronounce it like that. He replaced, obviously Tyson Fury was WBO number one. Uh, he was replaced by Alexander Usyk because obviously if you're if you're in the lower lower weight class, let me just so people who don't you're not really sure how this works. If you're in a lower weight class, obviously Usyk was in the cruiserweight division, which is below the heavyweight division. Uh, he was unified heavyweight unified cruiserweight champion for all the belts. So moving up to the uh, a higher weight class, he is he's more favored in terms of ranking. And the explanation for Tyson Fury being removed from the number one spot was um, um, Vakasel. He said, replied to Tyson Fury saying, Champion, we respect you a lot, but you aren't available. That's the reason WBO removed you from the rankings. By the way, good luck, champ. Good luck, champ. Obviously, he's saying good luck because he's going to fight Deontay on the 22nd of November of, of uh, February. But yeah, obviously, it, it, to me, it makes a lot of sense them removing Tyson Fury from the rankings because they need to they need to start enforcing some of their mandatories on Anthony Joshua. So were we ever gonna have a scenario where Tyson Fury was mandatory for Anthony Joshua? Man, that would have been serious business right there because <laughs> that would have been a that would have been a massive fight if Tyson Fury was mandatory for Anthony Joshua. But to me it makes a lot of sense because the WBO need to start making enforcing their mandatories on uh, Anthony Joshua. And Tyson Fury, he's already tied up to fight Deontay Wilde on February 22nd. And Tyson Fury, who also has, if he was to lose, he has an option to trigger a, uh, what do you call it now, uh, a rematch. And also Deontay Wilder, if he was to lose to Tyson Fury, he has the right to trigger a rematch, which a fight would potentially take place in the, uh, what do you call it? summer of 2019 2020 so then where where's the time for the wbo to enforce their mandatory on anthony joshua you could have a whole year 2020 where there's no joshua doesn't have to defend the wbo against any mandatory so the wbo i guess they t- they took the decision to remove tyson fury from the ranking and then obviously put in in putting in um what do you call it they put in a uh, Alexander Usek into the ranking as a super champion from the cruiserweight division as a suitable uh, candidate to as a suitable mandatory candidate to take on Anthony Joshua or to fight for a potentially vacant WBO belt so yeah that's what they've gone with uh, I think that's a I agree with their decision to be honest because Tyson Fury who's already talking about three fights left uh, he's, he's fighting Deontay February 22nd, potentially fighting him again in the summer. The WBO potentially have left without an option, really, because if Tyson, all that time, you could end up having Joshua having to defend the WBO in, or whoever holds the WBO at the time, having to defend it in 2021. And that looks a bit that looks a bit too far, because when was the last time the, uh, Anthony Joshua had to defend the, the WBO by mandatory? I don't think he's had to do that. So this is Anthony Joshua's first mandatory defense of his WBO belt from the through the WBO sanctioning body by mandate, way of mandatory. So this mandatory fight has to take place at some point. So they've gonna have to take Tyson Fury out and replace it with Usyk. And Tyson Fury is calling called Usyk in, ty, in typical Tyson Fury style some cruiserweight bum. Now. Everybody, Tyson Fury knows true and well that Usyk isn't any bum, but you know how you know how Tyson Fury is. Proper macho is obviously gonna have to trash Usyk and say he's a bum and all this kind of stuff. But if we we know very well that if if Alexander Usyk, if Tyson Fury fights Alex Usyk, he's damn sure gonna take Alexander Usyk seriously because this guy, Olympics, cleared out the cruiserweight division. And you can't just you can't just call someone like that trash, because you, was Holyfield trash moving up from the cruiserweight division? No chance. So 
yeah, Tyson Fury trashing Usyk, trashing the WBO. Tyson Fury actually replied saying, you shouldn't have put some cruiserweight uh, bomb ahead of me because apparently the WBO president was talking about, who was he talking about? He was talking about Tyson Fury fighting an Uzbekistan fighter. Uh, I think it's an up and coming Uzbekistan fighter. Though I think people, I think whether he's, people have been praising him, praising the fighter, talking about he's got good hand speed, six foot seven, and all that kind of thing. And they're talking. The president was talking about he would like to see Tyson Fury fight him. And Tyson Fury said, maybe if you hadn't removed me from number one ranked WBO and put some cruiserweight bomb with one fight at heavyweight, then you then you could have had then then you could have had have you know you could have a say. So, yeah, Tyson Fury not happy with the cruiserweights, uh, not the cruiserweights, the WBO's decision to remove him from number one. What do you guys think? Was the WBO right to remove Tyson Fury from number one? Uh, were they wrong? Was the president right to remove him from number one? Do you think they should be offering a guy who's, who's, who nobody really knows in heavyweight boxing talking about him fighting Tyson Fury? Because I don't know who this guy is yet. So is this a guy that you want to see Tyson Fury fight? Tyson Fury's only got three fights left, so that's not going to be happening. I don't think that's going to be happening. Or is Tyson Fury just joking around his three fights? He's going to be fighting more fights. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me think about. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Yep. Let me hear what you guys. Let me see what you guys have to say about this topic. Remember, like, subscribe. Peace out, guys. Cool.